How do I know if my leopard gecko eggs are fertile or not? So there are three main stages that an egg can be in. Unfertile, fertile, or embryogenetic. Unfertile means that the male sperm never combined with the female's egg to create an embryo. Fertile means that the male sperm did combine with the female egg to create an embryo. And embryogenetic means that the embryo is now growing in the egg. All right, guys, it does not get any fresher than this. We just found two brand new eggs from this girl right here, and we are gonna take a look at them to see what stage they are in. So this is actually Jelly Bean's egg container, and she's actually been a very good female for us. She's a first year female. This is now her sixth clutch, so 12 eggs, plus she reabsorbed her first two ovulations. So as a first year female, she actually produced seven different ovulations so far. That could have produced seven clutches of two eggs being 14 eggs, but like I said, that first ovulation, she reabsorbed, it never turned into eggs, and we will check her to see if she's ovulating again right now or if she's done. And so she just laid two beautiful white eggs, but I don't see any new ovulations growing. So we will check back with her uh, in a few days to see if there are any ovulations growing. So first year females, they're usually laying somewhere between three to four clutches. The fact that she has given us six good clutches of laid eggs is pretty remarkable. Now, before I say that all the eggs are good, we are gonna check for fertility in all of her eggs to see if I can show you the different stages of embryotic development with her eggs as an example. So first we're gonna pull her two new eggs. Here is egg number one, and we want to look for a red circle or a red embryo. And sometimes it's very hard to see, and sometimes it's not there. Now this girl has been repaired a couple of times during this season. Now, before I call this egg infertile, I'm gonna give it some time to see if an embryo develops. Sometimes the embryos are very hard to see inside of the egg and the egg winds up developing anyways. So we're gonna take a look at some of these other eggs, how far along they are, and if any of them wind up looking infertile. This egg feels pretty good. Let's see if we can find a red embryo in this one. Very hard for you to see in the camera, but there is a little bit of reddish right here. And so you always put embryo up, facing up, and we will check some of her other eggs here to see what stages of development they are at. So first we are going to cross her off of our list of expecting females right now. Now it's never happened to me, but I always check the egg box because you never know, maybe there's another egg in there. Maybe one day a miracle will happen and I will find three eggs from a girl inside of this egg box here. But so far it's never happened. I don't necessarily expect it to happen, but miracles do happen, you know. I just gave her some fresh worms last night. Make sure laying females always have access to fresh worms and their calcium slash vitamin mix. So don't leave these containers sitting out too long. They will evaporate. Get that lid back on as soon as possible. And by evaporate, I mean that the water content that is in the substrate, in this case, vermiculite, what I'm using, will begin to evaporate and then you won't have humidity in there for the eggs to hatch. Now that evaporation process should take a long time. I just don't wanna risk if I don't need to. And so we're gonna label her last clutch here. Today is the 18th, two, 18, 21, I'm gonna put two, maybe, because I did not see any embryos for sure. If I see the embryo for sure, I will put two good. If I don't see the embryos, I'll put maybe on there until proven otherwise. So we're gonna look at those eggs in a second, but for now, you want to make sure that you record everything. So this is the 18th, 
The female was Jelly Bean. I'll put JB for short. She laid two maybes. That way I can take this data tracking notebook and once we are done here, I will input all of her new data into the computer. We are taking a break from Jelly Bean just for a second because we have two more eggs from this girl Ashley over here. And I want to show you guys what an embryo looks like from the start. And I'm hoping slash confident that we can find it right here. Boy, I'm just getting really unlucky with you guys today. Not finding any. Wow, well, slim pickings right now, guys. It's really hard to find embryos inside of these fresh eggs. Now there's embryo development in an older egg. This egg was laid two weeks ago and you could see that ring of red. That ring of red is what you're looking for when the egg is first laid, except it'll be much, much smaller. It will be probably only about 1 20th of the size of that ring that you see right now. So just as a caveat, there's what two eggs look like that are about to be laid. Okay, for demonstration purposes, we are pulling out a different female's eggs. You can see this one is incubating for male. Temperature is dropping though because I've already pulled out of the incubator for a few seconds. This one, I should be able to show you some infertiles. This girl has given us some problems. She laid one egg that wound up being no good. Another egg that wound up being no good. She laid two eggs here that I did see embryos for. She laid two eggs here that were maybe, and she laid one good egg and one bad egg just a few days ago. Wow, that's actually grown a lot in just four days. So I think you can kind of pick it up. That pinkish circle in the middle of the camera, it's about half the size of the egg right in the middle of the egg. When that first was laid, that pink dot was very, very tiny. Of that size, maybe 1 15th or 1 20th of the size. And this one, you see, I thought it was no good. I didn't see an embryo when it was first laid, but you can clearly see some pink developing and that embryo growing. So since we didn't get the best picture of it in person today, this is what an embryo will look like on an egg. So let's pretend for a second that this big oval is the egg. This is what an embryo will look like on the surface of the egg. It could be towards the top, it could be towards the middle of the egg, it could be towards the bottom, it could be on the reverse side of the egg, it could be on the left side or the right side. So you wanna spin that egg until you find the embryo. When you do find the embryo, then you can list that the egg is good in hopes that the embryo is gonna grow and just make sure that you put the embryo face up. Now, if you don't check for embryos, that is okay. My first breeding season, I did not check for embryos. All I did was take the egg in the position that the mom laid it and put it into the incubator that way. That's fine. But if you're starting to get in the stage of checking for embryos, then you might as well put the embryo facing up. That is what it'll look like. It'll look like a small pink dot inside of a small pinkish circle. And this is the egg. So we actually have the perfect example here of an infertile egg. Going backwards in time, this was from January 14th is when these two eggs were laid. I listed both of those eggs as good because I thought that I saw an embryo in both eggs. But check this out. You can clearly see one egg is more plump than the other. And here is what we're gonna find out. These are incubating for male, so that means that 45 days from the 14th is when these are due to hatch. So these eggs are due to hatch about the beginning of March. So they should almost be fully developed by now. But here's what we're gonna find. One of the eggs looks really good. Do you see how dark all of that is in there? All of that red, all of that filled out color, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for darkness and redness inside of a growing embryo egg. These two eggs were laid at the same time, right? Check out this egg, completely yellow. No embryo growing whatsoever. I can feel the egg is hard. It looks like a good egg. I mean, look how pretty that egg is. It looks perfectly fine, right? I mean, on outer appearance, but on the inside, you can see that there is no embryo. It is completely yellow. 
it is completely void of any blood vessels, any embryo, any redness whatsoever. Well, there's, there's a little redness right there, right? But, and that's probably what I thought was the embryo and it wound up never developing. So this is an infertile egg. I always like to hold on to hope, right? So I leave it until the other one hatches and sometimes even a little longer than that. But that egg is not going to develop into a gecko, at least from the signs that we're seeing, whereas this egg is, and that egg should be hatching soon, actually. So getting back to our prime candidate here, jelly beans eggs. We're gonna look at every single one of jelly beans eggs, backtracking one, two, three, four, five clutches. That is about two to three weeks per clutch. So you're looking at two to three months or so worth of eggs. These were the eggs just laid and found today. So this is what an egg looks like on the day that you find it. It's gonna be pretty yellow. And like I showed earlier, you wanna look for that small pink dot with the red circle. I believed that out of this whole egg, this was the side that I saw a little bit of redness on. Sometimes it's hard to see because of the dirt and everything caked on there, right? You don't have to get all crazy about it. Leopard gecko eggs, like I was saying earlier, are not completely necessary for the embryo to be facing up. Some species you do need the embryo facing up. Leopard geckos seem to hatch regardless. These are fresh. Let's backtrack two weeks. Here is a growing embryo that is two weeks old. You can clearly see all of that red inside beginning to fill out. It no longer even looks like a red circle with emptiness in the middle. It looks like a red circle that is completely shaded in. It's beginning to grow and develop nicely. Let's go two weeks prior to that. So now this egg is four weeks old total. And you can see that the whole egg now is beginning to look red on the inside as the gecko and the embryo in there take form and take shape. Let's go two weeks before that, and this egg is now six weeks old. Six weeks times seven days, so this is about 42 day old egg. And you can see the redness continues to grow and it starts to fill out into more blackness. As the embryo gets ready to hatch and old enough to hatch, you will see the egg actually start to turn more black. So you can still see redness in there, but you can also see a lot of black starting to creep around the top of the egg and the bottom of the egg. And what that is, is the gecko's body starting to take shape. So again, this egg, six weeks old, about 42 days. I'm expecting this to hatch at 60 days. So this one is probably another 20 or so days out from hatching. And these eggs, let's see when these were laid. These eggs were laid on December 23rd. Fast forward 60 days from then, we're looking at about February 23rd. Today is February 18th. So these next eggs are actually scheduled to hatch any day now. Let's take a look at an egg that is eight weeks old and just about 60 days and ready to hatch. You can see much less red, much more black. That black is the continuing development of the body of the baby, which is now, it's no longer an embryo now. Now it's like an actual gecko. It's an actual baby now getting ready to hatch. You can see some red like on the top and the bottom parts, but for the most part, the whole egg is just filled out black. And that is a good sign that you have an almost fully grown baby in there. Sometimes just moving around like that will encourage them to hatch early, just like my last video. So now that we saw all the stages of development, we are going to make sure this lid is sealed, completely sealed, guys. I always stress that because I like to incubate my eggs with 100% humidity in a very sealed environment. It gets fresh air when you open it up, but even if you didn't open it up, it still doesn't need to get fresh air for the 60 days that egg is incubating in there. Always good to double check one more time. All the edges are sealed. I'm a double, triple, quadruple checker when it comes to this stuff. And in she goes all the way to the back. There's a picture of our incubator, all the eggs that we're incubating thus far in the year. You can hear those fans going in there. So this is our female incubator that is incubating between 80 and 81 degrees. This is our male incubator 
that we are making males with and we're incubating between 88 to 89 degrees. These are our Savannah monitors, which are in hiding and our sailfin dragons, which we need to make more videos about. And the other one is right there. Data tracking sheet, very important. Well guys, I hope that was very educational as well as helpful for you to see the different stages of embryonic growth. So just to recap, you will have eggs that are infertile. That means that there is no embryo inside of the egg to grow into a gecko. The embryo is the part of the egg or the part inside the egg that actually grows into your little baby gecko that you are getting ready to hatch. The second stage that you will find an egg in is with the beginning stages of an embryo attached to the egg. So the embryo will be attached to the egg. It will look like that small circle with the little bit of a bigger circle around it. So it's a dot inside of a circle inside of the egg. Go back in the video earlier if you want to see the picture of that. If you missed that, that's a good representation of what to look for in the beginning stages of embryo development. As we saw in this video, four days later, two weeks later, you're already seeing that embryo completely starting to take up half the size of the egg, a quarter size of the egg. It's starting to get big. Two weeks after that, it's starting to take form and actually develop some darkness. That darkness is thick bodied areas of the gecko that are starting to develop. The tail, the head, the torso. Two weeks after that, it looks almost completely dark. Two weeks after that, the egg is basically ready to hatch. So those are the stages of embryo development. It's called embryogenesis, and that is the stages that your embryo goes through developing unto hatching. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more gecko videos to come in the future. I'll see you guys next time and have a geeky gecko great day.